What's up, YouTube? Green Dunn here. Just um, showing off a pedal that I made over this holiday, this 4th of July weekend. Actually, I made the pedal a long time ago, um, but I just finished it this weekend as far as putting the code on it and the, the graphic and all the controls, whatever. But, um, yeah, I built it a long time ago. Uh, what it is is a tone mender um, from runoffgroove.com. And it's essentially an EQ boost. You know, you can set the EQ at unity gain if you wanted to, and then just turn the volume up and use it as a boost pedal. Or you can use it as an EQ. Right now, let me turn off my guitar, turn down my guitar. But right now I'm playing through my Fender Frontman. And you can't see it because of the glare, but all the tone controls are set to 5. So they're just, it's just a plain blech signal. <laughs> Just a boring signal. And what this does, it essentially brightens up your tone. Um, if you go to Runoff Group's website, um, they show they show you how you can make it sound Fendery, um, Marshally, or Voxy. Uh, and I'll put the link to this um, perf board down in the descriptions below, down here somewhere. But I'll, I'll, I'll put the link to that there. And it shows you how to set it up for what. But um, this is a really cool pedal. I built it a long time ago. But I wired it wrong. And it didn't sound good. And I was disappointed in it. Because it took me forever to build this. Because this is one of the first pedals that I built. So I didn't know quite what I was doing. But the other day I took it apart just to look at it. And I noticed that the treble pot was wired wrong. I fixed it. And man it made a difference. So... Okay, I'm going to run through some riffs, let you hear it. Um, you know, I'm going to run through it clean, or just a dry signal, basically. None of the pedals on, just going, my guitar, going to the amp. Then I'll kick this on, let, kick this on, let you hear it. Then I'll kick the OCD on, let you hear it, interact with this. And then kicked, kick my Eternity Boost, my Eternity Clone, so you can hear how it interacts with this. Um, but I want you to see something. That bright bright light so what I'm gonna do so I don't risk blinding y'all I'm gonna put this right here to cover this up because I didn't put a big enough resistor there dummy me um, but yeah okay so I'm gonna run through some riffs I'm playing through a fender Jags thing that I put an area 58 um, single coil in the neck position and I'm just gonna play through that I'm not gonna go through my humbuck or anything I'm just gonna play through this so you can get the idea this is the plane channel. Doesn't sound too bad. It's a little, you know, tone's relative um, to. The listener, it could sound good to somebody, but um, it sounds just bleh. it's or just mediocre. So, here we go. I'm gonna turn this on. I don't know if you can pick that up on, on YouTube, it's compression or whatever, but it sounds so much cleaner, it sounds so good. in your mid it's got a bass treble and mid knob with all the mid turned down blinding you hold on so I'm gonna gradually turn up this mid so you can hear how it affects see it just adds life into it let me turn this down for some reason the treble is scratchy Let me 
see if I can do this one. This right here is a frequency cut. Um, this is lets all the high frequencies in, cuts all the high frequencies out, or a certain. It's. I don't know if you can catch it on YouTube, but it's very slight. You know, I guess if you're playing a very hot single coil, you can turn that on and it'll tame it a little bit. But it's very slight. So. Okay, that's that. That's with this just this pedal. I'm gonna turn on this OCD. sound bad. It, I'm not a big OCD fan, but you know, it sounds good with this. And, but like I said, tone's relative, you know. It's it, OCD's it it's a good pedal. Okay, so here's the Eternity clone. Blanket on your speaker, and you take the blanket off. That's it. And I guess one of the uses for this, you know, would be to, um, if you didn't have an amp, maybe you were going through, you know, a sound board or something, and you didn't have a backline amp or anything. You know, you could run your guitar through here, and it would. Okay, sorry, folks. My camera rudely interrupted me, or my iPhone interrupted me by saying I didn't have enough space so I had to delete some videos so for sake of starting over but um what I was saying is if you didn't have an amp at a gig and you had to go just through the soundboard you know that, that can be somewhat ugh, um you can use one of these and that'll give you an amp like tone um it'll at least EQ it to make it sound good before it hits the board uh this is a really cool pedal. It was fun to build. It taught me a lot. Um, but yeah, it was a, it's a really cool pedal. I'll bring it up close so you can see it. But I painted it white. I'm going to get some different knobs for it. Um, these are just some knobs I had hanging around. I'll probably get some black ones like that. Or some chicken heads or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's it. It's a really nice pedal. It's... Um, circuit board doesn't take up much room but me being new to this I had to put it in this big one um but yeah it's the tone mender not tone bender but tone mender and I'll put the link down here on where to get where to build this um hope you enjoyed it thumbs up if you liked it remember to subscribe that's what everybody says I don't you know I don't put out a lot of content but yeah subscribe let me know what you think um yeah, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll do my best to answer them. All right, man. Y'all take it easy.